Hello, welcome to Science Institute of Education. My name is Sam. Today in this video lecture, I'm going to give you a few sentences which I've come across that have been wrongly used in English, right? I, I will show you from sentence by sentence that what sentence it is that is being wrongly used and then what is the correct way that you can use that sentence, all right? So let's get started. All right, so let's begin. Now, welcome. This is Science of Education. The wrong sentences used in English. Now let's start with number one. Normally, when we are having a conversation, we speak, I live here only, right? I live here only. For example, two people have a conversation. They ask like, where do you live? Well, I live here only. Now the correct use is, I live here. Why? Now, you must have also heard that I eat this only and I'm like this only many times. The problem is that it's incorrect and only is unnecessary and wasted here. So instead of using only, just try to avoid it and speak only that I live here. Right. So that somebody asks you, where do you live? I live here. Okay, now this one's pretty common. Everybody say, you know, please revert back as soon as possible. Either you're writing emails or you're sending a WhatsApp message, Facebook message or any messenger. You know, normally we say and even write these things. I will revert back to you. Revert itself means get back. So there is no need to write back anymore. The correct use is, I will revert you. Now, reverting in itself means that you will get back. So you need not add back with revert. Okay. I will revert back. Right. Now, the next. He is my most favorite actor. Now, most. The letter most, the word most, it should not come. Because something is already your favorite. And here... We have a person. So someone is already your favorite. So the correct use is he is my favorite actor. The dictionary meaning of favorite is preferred to all others of the same kind. Now, when you have made your preference obvious by saying favorite, you really don't have to add most. So that's why just simply say he is my favorite actor. Now next, normally you might have heard also from your parents and all, especially grandparents saying, please carry more extra food with you. Well, if you're already having extra food, then why you need to say more, right? So the correct use is carry extra food with you. Now more and extra, even if you are famished, should not be used in a single sentence. It's either more or extra don't just club them together all right so next time you have to use the word extra do not put more there okay similarly you know i have heard many people and you also tend to speak sometimes you know there are different different kind of things there are many many things there's you know like there's tiny tiny things available i don't know why people tend to speak this different different tiny tiny many many aspects one different is more than enough. There are different things, right? Similarly, there are many things. There are tiny droplets of water. Hey, now let's go next. So they spent five lakhs for the wedding. Now this sentence, the problem is they spent five lakhs with S for the wedding. Now it's not supposed to be lakhs. The correct use is they spent five lakh for the wedding. Lakh is itself a number. So whether it is one lakh or more than one, the word lakh is written as singular, not plural. You can say five lakh rupees, not five lakhs rupees or five lakhs even. Right? So money. Similarly, you know, like we use, there are n number of amenities available in my hometown n number of why do we use number only why not numbers 
because number is singular itself carrying variety of numbers into it doesn't matter either it can be used as singular it has plural inside only so the number stays number right now this is a very common phrase that i almost hear every single day intentionally i do ask people you know is there any subject that you are weak at and they always say my maths is very weak no 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 you can't say my maths is very weak maths is a subject how can you make a subject weak you are in you are weak in maths not maths is weak in you right so the correct usage is i am weak in maths now it sounds like the poor subject maths has become weak and you had nothing to do with it on the other hand saying that you are weak in a particular subject or skill is correct so remember the correct uses i'm weak in maths if you're talking in past i was weak in english okay next people tend to use especially from school i passed out from modern high school i passed out from this university you don't pass out pass out is another phrase that we use in english when someone is either too much drunk or has lost his consciousness that's where we use pass out now the correct use is i did my schooling from modern high school we don't say i passed out from modern high school i did my schooling right similarly the word graduation i've covered in one of my previous videos okay so i did my schooling from modern high school so passed out means losing consciousness while this is another commonly used indianism it is wrong english and even changes the complete meaning of the sentence passed out means when you are over drunk and lay down somewhere okay right let's move next i gave my history exam yesterday i'm going to give my exam tomorrow no this is also wrong because gave you're not giving your exam i know that people tend to speak this only because of the translation but it's utterly wrong you don't give your exam you take your exam you sit for your exam the examiner apparently he is the one who's giving you exam right so the correct way is i took the history exam yesterday the reason giving exam is direct and literal translation from hindi to english it's wrong english when you answer the exam paper you're clearly taking an exam giving exam on the other hand is used for the invigilator who's going to hand an exam to students appearing right next move next discuss about very common mistake that people do discuss itself means talk about so we need not use discuss about about so which means it would simply means talk about about right so the correct use is i would like to discuss the new strategies that we can instill in our organization why so stop using this phrase and there is nothing to discuss about this the word discuss itself means to talk about and when we add another about in it it becomes to talk about about and there is nothing to talk about about isn't it <laughs> all right so these are few things that i really want you to take care of while framing your english sentences okay i hope this video is very fruitful to you if you do like it please hit like and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos Thank you so much and you all have a lovely day ahead.